Hey, this is Will back doing Aquarium for iOS. In this video, we're going to dive into Tank 3-5. We unlocked Blip in the last episode. Uh, Blip is going to give us a lot of information about the tank by unlocking all of our options right at the beginning to buy food and all that kind of stuff and telling us things about the health of our enemies and all sorts of things like that, the aliens that come into the tank. Let's take Stinky the Snail there and Blip as well as what other pet is good to take. I'm thinking maybe Wadsworth. We'll go with that lineup. Alright, cool. So this is Blip immediately telling us which fish are hungry. You'll see that arrow above their head. It'll go away once we feed them. It's a little more of an indication immediately as to when they're hungry. And you can see he's unlocked all of our options immediately on the top there. Uh, as to buying the, the final egg to complete the level and everything else, we can go ahead and buy it now. I don't have enough money to buy that yet, but it just gives us some more information. That's his kind of power as a pet in our tank. Our fish are hungry there again. We'll feed them and let's buy another fish here. Cool. So we should have an alien coming into our tank sometime soon here, and Blip will give us a lot of useful information about the alien attacks as well. As to where they enter the tank, there will be a target on the screen that'll tell us where the alien's gonna come into the tank, because they kind of spawn in there randomly. Uh, there we go, so an enemy's approaching and it's showing us right there where the enemy's gonna spawn in. And it should be, yep, Wadsworth took in all of our fish, so we don't have any fish in danger at the moment, but Blip is also telling us the health of the alien we're fighting right here too. You can see the red bar above the alien's head that's going down. That is the health of the alien. Super useful, especially with that octopus uh, type, or the, uh, yeah, the octopus type alien that comes into our tank. It's super useful for beating him that we know what his health is. Let's upgrade the quality of food here and buy another fish. And I'm going to leave it on the medium quality food just because we want to feed our guppy crunchers on the bottom of the tank here eventually. Alright, let's buy a few more guppies here. The next upgrade I'm probably going to look for here is producing more food in the tank. Then we'll buy another guppy. Probably have enough now to afford another guppy. And now we can start working our way up to afford one of the guppy crunchers. And we have an enemy approaching. He'll be coming in right there. Let's see who it is. It's the same enemy that was here before. Oh, yeah. Yep. He's gonna take out some of our guppies here. And he's gonna try and do that again right here in a second. Got a third guppy. It's super hard when that enemy is in close range to stop them from killing our fish. But we're about at the point where we can afford the guppy cruncher. So let's buy one of those. Then we need to save up in order to feed the Guppy Cruncher. It's super useful with the Guppy Crunchers and, uh, and Beetle Munchers to tell when they're hungry. Because they are pretty valuable kind of assets for our tank. So knowing roughly if our population is too low of uh, any specific fish, if we need to get more Guppies into the tank in order to feed the Guppy Crunchers, or if we need more Guppy Munchers in order to feed the rising population of the beetle munchers. Uh, it's super useful to know that, and Blip really helps out a lot with that. Alright, let's buy another one of the Guppy Crunchers. And looks like the Guppy Crunchers are hungry, so let's get another Guppy in the tank here to feed the second one. We're about at the point where we can afford a third. And we have an enemy approaching here. I'm going to try and save the Guppy 
crunches as much as possible. So, yeah, if he shoots after my guppies, I'm not going to care too much, but saving these guppy crunches is so important for me. So he killed one of them. That's sort of fine. I think we'll be able to recover here. Let's feed our Guppy Crunchers at the bottom of the tank there. And then this one's hungry right here. And I wonder if I should invest in more Guppies at the moment or just try and earn my way up to buying more of the Crunchers. I think I will, yeah, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing here and, and getting more of the Guppy Countries. Let's see, and yeah, this is the last level in this tank here. We'll be going to another tank in the next level of Aquarium here. Uh, tank 4, the last tank. Get down here to feed this Guppy Cruncher, there he goes. We're almost to the point of being able to afford one of the beetle launchers. And we have an alien coming back into the tank here. I wonder if I should upgrade my weapon. Probably. Probably just single upgrade the weapon as fast as possible. Yeah, he's really going to do a lot of economic damage here if I leave him in the tank for very long. He didn't kill two. Oh, okay, they're on top of each other. I thought he might have killed two of them. There. Okay, let's invest in another one. Invest in a few of these to feed them. Again. This one's hungry right here. Another one is hungry. Got some more guppies here. Buy another guppy cruncher. Got more money there. And my money has disappeared. The value of. Um, your money there will sometimes disappear. You just have to go to the main menu and back in to refresh that. Let's buy another one. Get some more guppies to feed them. being able to afford a beetle muncher. I was saying that before, but now okay, there's an enemy coming back into the tank. Hopefully it's the same one. I could take it out pretty quick. Um, I want to get to the point where I can take him out without, without him even being able to do that once. Just because he tends to be able to take out one of our beetle guppy crunchers every time he comes into the tank. Let's afford... Uh, we can afford a beetle muncher now, so let's go ahead and buy that. Not hungry. Let's buy another one of these. And start feeding our friends at the bottom of the tank there. Invest in another one, invest in a little more food output. And then we get some more guppies to feed our friends at the bottom of the tank there. And then let's buy another one of the beetle munchers. A few more guppies here. Oops, I'm out of money. Go back to the main menu there again. Let's feed our guppies. Let's feed our, feed our guppy crunchers. Buy another one. And we have an alien coming into the tank. Let's upgrade our weapon here. Then get him out of the tank as soon as possible. To take out one of our $2,000 assets there. That's that's not very nice. And buy another one of those. Upgrade our food output potential, and we'll feed the friends at the bottom of the tank there again. And buy another one of those, another one of these. Feed the 
front to the bottom of the tank, and we're getting into that rhythm again of um, just feeding guppies to our guppy crunchers and making sure our fetal munchers have enough fetals to keep producing those pearls for us. Let's buy a couple of these and one of these. Yeah, it looks like we need more beetles in the tank. So let's buy a couple more of those guys. Give us a whole lot of guppies to feed them. Have a little feeding frenzy at the bottom of the tank there. And we have an alien coming back to the tank. I'm going to upgrade my weapon a few more times here. Just to get him out of the tank as fast as possible here. And there we go. We were able to get him out of the tank before he was able to fire off. Just before he was able to fire off any... Uh, any of those plasma bomb kind of things that kill our fish. Alright, let's get more guppies in here. Get into the bottom of the tank. Buy a few more of these guys, a few more of these guys. And more guppies to feed. Yet again, the friends at the bottom of the tank, it seems like they need to eat a lot. Eat. Real frequently here, and we're almost to the point where we need, we can afford our first shell, our first part of the eggshell, step one. Let's go ahead and buy that. And we are going to need to do that two more times, but now our economy in the tank here is rolling pretty strong. So we should be getting close to the end of the game here, end of the um, tank three. Let's get more guppies in here. Our guys at the bottom of the tank here are getting real hungry. Our guys at the bottom of the tank are getting very hungry. Let's upgrade the weapon a few more times. Get him out of the tank here as fast as possible. Super easy to deal with the aliens when you have enough to be able to afford the upgrades to the weapon. And about to complete the level here by Eggshell Part 2. And we're halfway there on Eggshell Part 3. Over halfway there, should be there in a second. And there we go. 15,000, let's complete the level. Alright, Rhubarb the Hermit. So, Rhubarb snaps this closet fish to keep them off the bottom of your tank. So, yeah, that's not going to be super useful in tank 3 there, but we're now moving on to tank 4, where we can see Rhubarb in action. Let's go ahead and move on to tank four here. Tap here to continue. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, we have a bonus round. Uh, whenever you complete a tank, you get one of those bonus rounds here. 20, 40, 60, it's well worth it to go for these bags exclusively and let everything else hit the bottom. 220, is that it? 40, 60. That's it right there. We can collect everything else. It's a pretty good haul from this tank there. Alright, awesome. So those bonus levels give us some shells we can use to afford. Um, in our virtual tank, we can buy some fish in our store and whatnot. Um, we can buy some fish here, and we can also afford those bonus pets. This is just more of a, a fun little tank here. You can put a few a few pets in here and whatnot and uh, and they'll just hang out in the tank with your fish and it's a pretty casual level so yeah i'm gonna head back out here and let's continue on with tank four just a quick explanation as to what those bonus levels are for uh, we'll take stinky we'll take rhubarb and let's also take hmm, who else is a pretty good one to take i'm thinking blip maybe Probably, probably Nico actually. Take Nico in this tank. That'll give us a bit of a financial boost early on. And there's rhubarb at the bottom of the tank, but most noticeably, there is this new fish. We might just fail this level right here. Okay, uh, rhubarb is keeping the fish off the bottom of the tank, and the food's at the bottom. So uh, rhubarb's not too useful, but uh, just for trialing out every pet in the spirit of doing that. Um, Especially when the fish can't get the food. Like, she's struggling and she gets to the point where rhubarb is knocking her off the bottom. But, more importantly, this new type of fish. It's not a regular guppy this time. Instead, 
This is a new type of fish called a breeder, I believe is what they're called. And they will actually produce guppies, and you can see we just unlocked the first upgrade to buy another breeder there. The breeder is she just, just like the prego, the pet, these fish will operate in a very similar way. Uh, they will produce guppies, and so uh, that's, that's a unique type of fish we now have unlocked. Let's feed the breeder and feed the guppy. So rather than purchasing guppies themselves, we'll purchase the breeders. Breeder just produced another guppy. We have an enemy approaching. And it's this regular enemy right here. Took one of our guppies with it. But, and it's so annoying when they, they go for the fish. Rhubarb is such a hassle to deal with. Um, but let's try and get our guppy upgraded here. The reason being is I want to purchase the ability to produce more food. That way rhubarb is... He's kind of impeding with my process at the moment of feeding my, my fish here. So we want to be able to produce a lot of food so it doesn't matter if rhubarb kicks them off the bottom of the tank. We can put some food at the top of the tank and make sure our fish don't die. Alright, and the breeder has upgraded to its full form. I believe this is its full form. It's full size, and our guppies are going to act as they usually do. Just a different means of getting them. Oh, and breeders, if I had forgotten to mention before, they're also $200 per breeder rather than $100 per guppy, as we'd seen in the previous levels. Alright, enemy approaching again. Our fish have not grown to full size yet. Let's keep them away from our growing fish. Collect these coins while he's in the corner of the tank. Rhubarb, hopefully won't... No, we won't stop our fish from eating, hopefully. Alright. So still waiting for one of our guppies to grow to full size so we can afford to drop multiple food pellets before investing in more breeders. There we go. So now I can drop more food, and one of our guppies died there, so let's buy another breeder. And you can see we are back to the original tank settings where we have that carnivore. The carnivore is super useful for um, eating the guppies, but rather than paying $100 to feed the carnivores, we have to have enough breeders to produce enough guppies in order to feed the carnivores, so the food chain in here becomes a lot more complex. Let's invest in upgrading our food here. Alright, so now our tank is going to start to thrive a little bit more here. Let's buy another breeder. Want some more food output ability. And we have an enemy approaching. Hopefully it's the same one, relatively easy to take care of, relatively harmless. And with Rhubarb, he does help, I see how he helps with um, keeping fish off the bottom of the tank if there's an enemy in the tank. That can be super useful to keep them away since guppies and breeders tend to just drift into the enemies uh, and uh, they become the food for the enemy, whereas we would like them to be fodder instead for the carnivores. So let's invest in a few more breeders here to produce more guppies there because we can't just pay to have a bunch of guppies in the tank instead we do have to have enough breeders to produce enough guppies to feed our carnivores looks like the carnivore might be hungry i just had upgraded my food to full health so or to full uh, full power so it might not uh, we might struggle to feed the, the carnivore in this level but I'll try to remember in the next level to only upgrade to the green pellet of food. That way, our carnivores have more potential to eat the guppies. Alright, I'm going to invest in a few more carnivores here. A few more breeders. We have an enemy approaching. Let's see what comes in right there at the bottom of the tank. Keep my carnivores safe here. Alright, 
Another carnivore, a few more breeders. Since the breeders are blue and the carnivores are also a different shade of blue, it's tough to tell, at least it is for me to tell which is which, when there's a whole lot of them swimming around all at once, it can become visually a bit confusing. Let's upgrade max food output. Then buy another carnivore. We can afford yet another carnivore. Buy a few more breeders. And for this tank, the shell requirement for the eggshell pieces is going to be 3,000. So we should be near the point where we can rack up and get 3,000 pretty quickly. Alright, so we're at 3,000. Let's buy the first eggshell part there. Then we're at 2,000 here, fast approaching 3,000. Uh, we have an enemy actually coming into our tank here now. Hopefully going to wipe out. Hopefully not too much of our population here. Alright, 3,000. We can afford a second eggshell. Let's work our way back up to 3,000 and complete the level. Alright, 2,300, 2,500, and 3,000. Let's complete the level. Alright, Nimbus the Manta Ray. Nimbus tosses coins or food he catches up towards the top of the tank, so he'll swim around and knock food back up and coins to the top of the tank there. Um, just like Rufus or Rhubarb, this one can be, Nimbus can be a bit of a hassle to deal with in the tank. It can be a little bit of an inconvenience. But we will see Nimbus in the next episode. I'm going to wrap it up here. And yeah, this has been Will Middleton. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode.